<laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are giving you all the Easter inspiration you need. Now, this time of the year is all about sharing meals with the family. So why not try this delicious shredded chicken pot pie with the most adorable... Bunny pastry. Oh, well, I mean, it just, you know, <laughs> creates a little bit of a festive flair creating them. And, you know, it's lovely having a co cookie cutter as opposed to sort of having to stencil them out yourself. Eh, yeah, buddy? no, I am no artist. <laughs> I am no artist. So this makes it all the easier. But, I mean, it's all about that delicious, wholesome filling. Oh, absolutely. And, I mean, when you've got a combination of chicken and bacon, I think it's always sort of one of those wonders that you, you know, you just sort of love. For those of you that don't want to or can't eat uh, bacon, you know, you can yeah. use pastrami mm. as another alternative for it as well. So you're bringing that wonderful depth of flavour to it. But what you need to really do is um, have all your ingredients ready and just sort of mix it and, and, and pop it into your, into your pie. So some shredded chicken, mm. or, I mean, you know, life is too short sometimes. Go and get a, um, you know, pre-cooked rotisserie chicken and shred that. But you can also yeah. sort of, you know, cook that at home yourself as well and then you have a lovely stock afterwards. Absolutely. Um, and, and for someone like myself, I mean, I am... In, in Dewal, in Zulu City, seven. You know yeah. that leg thigh piece? Yeah, okay. So I'm a leg thigh piece <laughs> kind of girl. So I always have that chicken breast left over yeah. that I never know what to do with. And this is a fun way just to use it again. Absolutely. Use it up. So shred your chicken and we're just going to pop that straight into your um, bowl. And then to that, some lovely spring onions. So it's going to give a wonderful sort of bit of freshness as well. Mm. Um, then a bacon that we've pre-cooked for you as well. So chuck that in. And then, of course, your mayonnaise. So let's just get that in. And that's going to give us a wonderful sort of creamy, buttery, oily sort of um, combination there. And, of course, always then season generously with a bit of salt and pepper. Yum. So let's get a good pepper into there. And then just give that a bit of a mix and bring that together. And all we need to do is, once that's together, is pop it straight into our pie dish. And what I love about this, this can be done, you know, a day, two days, actually three days mm. before, um, you know, your, your sort of, your, your party at any stage, whenever you're entertaining throughout the year. Do it beforehand. So what I've got here is um, your, uh, your quiche mould, and I've just lined it with the uh, puff pastry yes. on, the, on the base there. Now, Chef, you've already um, kind of gone in with all of the ingredients and you've put it in, but if we do have, you know, those herbs in the back of the yep. drawer, Ab we can also add those in. Absolutely. Get your herbs in here. Your parsley, coriander would work really well. Mm. And because it's a pie, we, we're baking it. It's, it's quite a harsh sort of cooking technique, so you can start adding things like your thyme, um, mm. maybe a little bit of sage leaves if, you, if you've got that. And all I want to do now is take that lovely filling and I'm just going to tip it straight into my pie dish that's already lined here. And that is it. That's as that's simple good. as that. So just want to make this a lovely even layer. And again, what we're going to need to do is make this even enough that we can pop your lovely little characters yes. on top here. I'm having so much fun here. I mean, I feel like a child again, all because I wasn't in that DIY segment <laughs> with Chef Jay, with, with Chef Jay and, and, and Utabzi. Oh, they had this so is, much fun, didn't this they? This is my DIY. And then we're just going to take a little bit of egg wash. I'm just going to sort of brush the, the edges of this here because this is going to sort of stick the little bunnies um, that you've got there and just makes life sort of... You know, a little bit easier. A little bring easier it all and cuter. So, okay, well, I've, I'm well on my way here. Okay, I've got all my little cartoons. Oh, you have indeed, absolutely. <laughs> How cute are they? Lovely little characters. And then all you do is just take one at a time and just nip it so it touches the edge of the pastry just to sort of seal it. Um, and then we're just going to keep adding what, little rabbits as we, as we go. So let's take another one here. A little bit of egg wash because that's the glue. So this is quite a different way of um, enjoying a pot pie. Normally you just cover the entire pastry on the top of it to make sure it's completely covered. Yes. But here it's okay for you to have the, the, the filling kind of pop oh, out absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely, you want to see that it's a bit of filling. Um, and then all you need to do is just keep going that. You're going to cut out a few more characters, but I'm just going to sort of just show okay. you what you need to do is just brush the pastry after so it creates a lovely golden hue. I just fill it up, but you want to see the filling. And that's mm. it. I mean, how gorgeous... Does that look? Super, super cute. And what is the baking time? Since we decided not to do the blind baking method, uh, and right now everything is cold. Cold. So it's going to take about sort of 40, 45 minutes, 180 degrees, a nice hot oven, and bake that off until it's lovely and golden brown. Remember, the chicken's cooked, everything else is cooked except mm, the, pastry. the pastry. That's all that you need to get going. But, I mean, oh, I think a great, lovely little sort of way. And get the kids involved because I'd love that. Absolutely. Magnifique. Now, I cannot wait to dive into that because one thing about me, I love myself some chicken pot pie. Now, if you do want to get your hands on this recipe, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Bye from me and my cute bunnies. <laughs> Hehehehe. <laughs>